see if I can get myself into the position. Hi, it's uh, Play With Fire Outdoors. And uh, I was asked today what a person would need to, to start prepping. <laughs> and I was kind of flabbergasted at that. But um, survival, prepping, prepping, survival, I don't know which one comes first. Um, there's the outdoors type survival, you know, uh, being able to get yourself out of the weather into some sort of shelter, um, get water, etc. Um, that, that can basically put yourself in the camping mood and have the stuff, you know, a minimal amount of stuff that you can make a maximum amount of stuff from. Um, then you have the bug in and bug out. The bug in is where you go and stay in the house. Imagine uh, the people. I If I stayed here uh, the other year, I would have been able to prevent the damage that happened to my house. Should I have stayed? I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish I did because uh, I lost my photos. And I was a big photo bug when I was out and about. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So that's bug in. That's where you stay at your house and don't leave it. And then there's the bug out where you take off to the, to the great unknowns. Um, and then you're... So from there, um, just bugging out. Are you just planning on being out? for a couple of days or longer term because they've got a, a thing known as a 72 hour bag and that's kind of what it's for is maximum of 72 hours that that's a backpack and some sort of shelter system on it sleep system and that's kind of it and then you've got the stuff that you need for doing it you know, being able to survive, uh, and then how you can improve on that with minimal, uh, you know, expenditure. Um, have you got a place out there, you know, out in the woods that you can get to, uh, and are just going to disappear for a while? You know, uh, basically making an extended camp out trip, or you know, stay there long term. Um, let's see and then because all this is relative to the amount of stores that you can bring with you unless you have a pre-positioned spot and that would that you know a cache um, what sort of situations are you thinking about having preparations for some of them are, are just good for everything and other ones of them are more situationally placed um i reload <laughs> over my shoulder you can see uh some of my reloading supplies so um yes i do have sticks of thunder um, and then if, if you're going to have one of those or a couple of those, what size, what, what type, um, all that sort of works into it. Uh, some people have like a three gun choice. Uh, pistol is out because legally, yeah, you know. It, uh, Canada has a prime minister that has decided that pistols are the next best thing to a hand grenade and have put them on the list that there are no more handguns allowed into the country uh, to be made in the country to be sold in the country or <clears throat> move from one person to another person at all so these people that own handguns right now that 
the way things are, 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 it is the last generation here in Canada to legally own handguns unless you're exempt somehow. Um, then there's a, some people go a shotgun, a 22, a center fire. Um, on my other, on my other playlists, you'll find all sorts of other things about that. Um, but yeah, I gotta find out what your plans are. Um, if you just want to be able to pick up and go, a 72 hour bag is great. But that's all it's kind of good for is 72 hours unless you go really extreme. Um, because in, in the end, unless you're going to be eating squirrels, um, food will be will become the major weight in your pack if you're going to be going much beyond 72 hours like you can you can add to it and whatnot but after that you're going to be slowed down you can be uh, a lot more difficult to, to, to move around